Welcome to Greg Tech New Horizons, a pack that's estimated to take about 10,000 to 15,000 hours to beat. A journey so difficult that the final item takes literal millions of items to craft. And I decided to take this on solo board. So, uh... Yeah, let's get into this. Welcome back, you filthy animals. On today's episode, we're going to be making the Coke oven, which will allow us to make charcoal. And then through charcoal, we'll be able to get buckets of creosote and get ourselves some Coke coal. In order for us to do anything, we're going to have to get this wood here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go grind down some trees. And as I said earlier, we finally unlocked the Stone Age. Let's go see what it holds in store for us today. Oh, dear God, this is going to suck. After accepting our free lunch bag and food journal, we finally get a look at what these other quests want from us. What they want is uh, 128 gravel, 128 sand, and 128 clay. And I'm sure some of you are thinking like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. And you would be right. But fear not, my friends. It all makes sense later as we go. Just stay with me now. Just stay with me. It all makes sense later. So after we go ahead and fill our newly acquired lunch bag with the mere morsels that we had stored around our base, I decided to go out and, well, you guessed it, gather ourselves some more wood. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. We went to the river near our base over here to go ahead and start gathering all the clay and sand that we need in order to craft what it's asking. I had you go in there for a minute, didn't I, though? You're probably thinking like, oh, no, he's getting more wood. And he's always getting wood. That's all he ever does in the videos. Gather wood. Don't worry, we'll be we'll be getting more wood later, just not right now. Thankfully, getting the sand and clay was relatively easy. We got it all in one spot, pretty much. I believe I actually got more than four stacks of sand and clay from here, so that was nice. The only thing that's left is gravel, I believe. Well, now that we got everything that we needed from this spot, it was time for us to move on. But the problem was, as if you can tell, it started to get a little dark. The sun's going down. My base is relatively far away from here, so we really need to start making our way back. Our shit's gonna go really, really poorly. But fear not, Minecraft gave us a way to fast travel back to base. It was really unique. It consisted of a fucking witch spider throwing lightning bolts at me like the Wrath of Zeus. Did I also mention that those lightning bolts also poison you? Boy, I love this game. So after sleeping for the safety of daylight, so I stopped getting struck by Homer and his gods at nighttime, it was time for us to continue our journey on the search of gravel. But it seems like my character was getting a little bit peckish. I decided to eat some kiwis. Now that we're a little bit more full than we were before, I came to a realization. You're actually able to craft a damn sleeping bag, which lets you pass the night, but doesn't set your spawn. It's a little too expensive for us to craft now, but keep this craft in the back of your mind because we will be revisiting this later 100%. And while we were out searching for gravel, I came across an innocent family of cows, in which I immediately started murdering for the skin in their flesh. For any vegans watching, fear not, my friends, I use 100% of the cow. We won't be using it immediately, but we'll definitely be using it. I also want to go ahead and mention that these knives freaking suck. Not only do they break really fast, but they also catch things on fire. And for for some reason, when things are on fire in this pack, they get immunity till they're done burning. What? What's happening? What, what the hell is going on? Am I dead? I don't know. Oh, it's an achievement. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I, I thought I was dying from a mob or something. Oh, look, some free clay. We're definitely gonna grab this. I'm sure we'll need some more of this stuff. Oh, man, we've been running around for a while now. How long, some of you might ask? Mm, I don't know, since like the birth of Christ? I'm starting to think that maybe there is no gravel on this map at all. I keep finding this damn clay. But like the trial of OJ Simpson, I haven't given up yet, boys. I haven't given up yet. We'll find this damn gravel. Oh, my gosh. Finally, I found some gravel. Q epic montage. I got two. Those one is a dude and one is a bro. I said do I feel like our epic music in epic time lapse was just a little too powerful for us. Because for those of you who are a little bit more observant, you might notice that it's actually starting to get dark. And uh, I don't really have a way to get back to my base in time, so we're going to swim out in the middle of this lake, and surely it's safe. Nobody's going to come out here, right? We're much too far away for anything to aggro on us, no? And what do you know? Somehow this damn zombie found his way all the way out in the middle of this lake and is trying to kill me. Like, no shit. This guy swam all the way out here and was like, hmm, I smell puss boy. I'm really scared of this guy on his back he has a quiver so i think he has a bow and if i get knocked off into the water here and he hits me pretty confident i'm gonna die i just really really hope the sun comes up really soon all right boys it's time to nut up or shut up let's do this Oh boy, that was close. Are we safe? Are we good? Is he here? Thank God we had some epic music playing. I could have got hurt. Okay, well, now that we're safe, let's get back to our epic mining montage, yeah? I got two. 
No, nah, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I won't make you guys listen to that song again. I'm, I'm just playing. Now that we're finally back to base after surviving all of that and going through all the troubles to get this clay, gravel, and sand, I suppose it's time for me to give you guys an explanation of why we gathered all this stuff, hmm? As I said earlier, our goal for this episode is going to be to make the blast furnace for us to get charcoal, right? Easy, no? You would be absolutely mistaken and wrong. This shit is hard as crap. There is still quite a few crafts for us to do before we can even begin to make the coke oven. And to start that chain of events, the first thing that we have to do is smelt down at least five stones, which really sucks because we don't have any fuel. That's kind of what we're doing all this for, so that way we can make unlimited fuel to melt things down. And I'm sure this is a little confusing right now. Why would we do this stone quest, hmm? Well, the answer is for this quest right here. We needed to make a pestle. In order to do that, we need some flint and some stone, which you just smelted down in order for us to actually craft this thing. And then comes the question of, okay, well, Carnage, what is that used for? And to answer that question, we have to show you this. This is how we get a clay bucket. The only way to get that dust is to grind down clay with the mortar and pestle, which is very, very slow and it actually really sucks because the mortar and pestle doesn't have very much durability, which really, really blows. And uh, side note, I actually realized after I came back and edited this, there's a better way to get this dust by using clay blocks, which would have saved about four times the pestles. Uh, uh. But anyways, now that we're able to get these small piles of clay dust instead of the large ones, we have to make four of these a pop in order to make one big pile. Then we need five piles of big ones to make one clay bucket. I don't know. You do the math. This is too big brain for me. I just grind things down and just get it over with. And now that we have the bucket, it's actually an unfired clay bucket. So we have to smelt it before we can finally make it usable. Doing that unlocks some weird quest that we could use like cactus for water. I don't know. I ignore this quest. We're moving on. And apparently, the next thing the game wants us to do is get this paper. You know what I'm saying? But uh, my brain hurts from explaining all that earlier. So I think we're going to take a little bit of break from the grind. And let's go get this bread. You know what I'm saying? I need some food. My boy's always hungry. You run out of food so fast in this pack. Which means that we're going to have to make some farms so that we can grow some food. Which you know what that means, right, boys and girls? It's time for an epic time lapse. Four big guys. And they grab on my thighs, blow up my guts like the 4th of July. If they keep fucking my butt, then I might just cry. Poop is even spraying on my eyes. He licks my dick and the cum start spraying. Charging up my dick, I'm gonna go super saiyan. When he comes to fucking booty. Yo, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be doing this. How, how the hell did we get back to chopping wood? I promise, my friends. I promise it was an accident. I, I didn't mean this. Back to the montage. I whispered in his ear like, hey, are you staying? Said, yeah, I'm not leaving. I guess he George Floyd, cause I always leave him not breathing. He chew on my dick like a baby that's teasing. I'm fucking a nigga. I think his name's Steven Hawking. Fuck him till he ain't walking. Stone Cold, call him BBC Hawking. Oh boy, I think that's everything. I, I, uh, that took a long time, actually, believe it or not. That took all day. So now it's nighttime. Let's go and hit this sack real fast. We didn't really plant much yet. We didn't really have a lot. We just planted some potatoes, but we do need to plant cotton later because we're gonna need lots and lots of cotton. But now that the break is done, let's go ahead and get back to this paper grind. Remember the wood that we got in the middle of the timeline? Maps. Well, it turns out that I actually needed the stuff. Turns out that you have to grind the wood into a pulp and then put it around a bucket of water in order for you to get the actual paper. Oh my god, this is so complex. I'm fairly confident that like the Samaritans and shit made paper out of like horse shit and spit. Not really sure why it's so hard to make in Minecraft. Time for us to go ahead and use the rest of this mortar and pestle to make wood pulp, eh? And here's our first trip to the lake with our little clay bucket to get our first bucket of water. We can go ahead and put that in here surrounded by pulp and there we go, our first set of paper. Okay, now time for trip to to get some water. Remember, we gotta do this like eight more times. Nah, I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. One, because all you fuckers would leave. And two, that's boring as hell. And there we go. Just like magic, that's the last craft we needed. And now we can finally move on from this damn paper thing. Which actually leads us into a mod that I very much enjoy, which is called Tinker's Construct. So as per usual when it comes to Tinker's, we have to make all the tables in order for us to actually make the tools that come with this. And just a little intermission for those of you who may not know what Tinker's Construct is. Tinker's Construct is a way for you to craft your own tools that have different materials in the game that get both positive and negative effects depending on what materials you make it out of. In this mod pack in particular, Tinkers actually replaces all vanilla tools, so we'll be using Tinkers for a long time. So it seems like we need to make the pot builder, the stencil table, tool station, pattern chest, yada 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 yada, whatever, 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 right? Once we were done crafting all the stations that we needed to complete this quest, we were able to turn in the quest to get a book and some patterns, and then it also unlocked the quest for us to go out there and just, I guess, kill a bunch of cows. Man, it would have been nice
nice to have this quest earlier when we murdered that whole family, but whatever, we're just gonna skip this quest. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is how you start making your own tools. Tinkers lets you craft pickaxes, axes, shovels, you name it, you can craft it in this. And as I said, you can choose different materials to craft your tool out of. Our only situation is that if we don't have many materials to choose from, so we're gonna start off with something very simple, the good old Tinker classic of wood and flint tools. Oh look, a zombie. Dory, man. How weird, it has sparkles on it. What the fuck is all those words? Oh my god, what the hell? He flung me in the sky. Holy crap, this guy's terrible. He has 44 health. Oh, oh my god, I'm so glad he's dead. I guess the cool thing is he dropped the chest plate. That's nice, I guess. Holy shit, why are mobs so scary in this pack? What the hell was that guy? Getting back to the task at hand, we had to go ahead and start crafting the heads of our tools, which consisted of a pickaxe head, an axe head, and a shovel head. Now, when it came to the binding and the tool rod, we chose wood. The reason why we chose wood over flint tool rod and handle is the fact that choosing wood actually gives you more durability than flint does, but flint is faster at mining than wood, so it's kind of a weird mix-match thing. Which, in all honesty, is the complete spirit of Tinkers, right? You're supposed to mix a little bit of this and a little bit of that and see what you get, and hope that your tool comes out pretty well. It's just we don't have a lot of options right now. We're still pretty early, so we gotta use what we got, and that's flint and wood. Now, I'm sure for those of you who don't really play modded Minecraft, you're probably asking why use these tools over normal ones? Well, for one, you can't fucking craft normal tools, so there's that. And for two, Tinker tools are awesome. Why would I not use these damn tools? You can literally build your own tools. What else could you ask for in Minecraft? But in all honesty, we will talk about why we use these tools later. Just trust me for now, and let's just keep moving on with the video. So anyways, moving forward with our current objective, the next step that we have to take in order to make our Coke oven is going to be to make this brick mold. And what do you think the brick mold does? Yeah, it just it just molds bricks. I mean, what the fuck do you want from me? Hey, you know, surprisingly, this is actually really, really easy to make. Look how you Easy that is a knife in a blink pattern. In fact, we kind of just have that lying around on our chest. We can grab this real quick. I have the knife in my inventory. He's gonna grab ourselves a blank pattern, put him in the shapeless crafting, and was all there we go. I actually think that that right there was the easiest craft so far in this game. Oh wow, oh wonder, oh boy, oh look at the new quest that unlocked. We can now start crafting flint throwing knives. Oh geez, oh boy, I'm so excited. Anywho, so we gotta take that brick mold and start making unfired coke oven bricks. And what do those take, you might ask? Sand, clay in the mold. Actually, it takes a lot of sand and clay. So we're gonna come over here to the side over here and start grabbing ourselves a bit of sand so we don't have enough to continue on with the quest. We're actually running kind of low on sand. And while we do this, I want to take a moment to explain why exactly we're so dead set on getting this coke oven. So basically, the coke oven takes a log and turns it into one charcoal. And it's the only way to get charcoal in this game right now, for us. But it also produces creosote oil. And creosote oil smelts 32 items per bucket of it and you get a lot of that stuff. So we get charcoal for crafting torches and creosote oil for smelting. It's just a win-win situation. So now that you have an idea of why we're doing this, let's go ahead and craft these stupid unfired bricks that we have to make. And remember that they're called unfired bricks, which means we have to fire them. In order for us to do that, we have to get, you guessed it, more wood. This time, it's not a joke. I actually mean it. But hey, at least we have better tools this time in the form of Tinker tools, so that's something to look forward to, I guess. We gotta level them up anyways, huh? You know, sometimes I realize that I kind of talk too fast. I apologize about that. I have, like, really bad ADHD. But more excitingly, look at this. We're finally firing down these stupid bricks that we need. While we cut down another tree, or the 30th tree this damn episode, I just want to go ahead and say thank you all for who watched to this point. You guys are fucking awesome. Editing is a passion that I have, and I love doing this stuff right here. I, I love editing and making stories and making fun of videos. For all of you who watch, this. Just know that you're much appreciated. You're fucking awesome. But anyways, enough of this. Let's get back to the game. I think we waited long enough to go ahead and get all the bricks that we need in order to finally start building the coke oven bricks that we have. They cost four of these bricks a pop, and we need 104 of these bricks in order to make all the ones that we needed. There we go. We got it. Oh my god. Thank the lord. Well, I guess one of the last things we have to do is go ahead and build the damn thing, right? Let me make sure that I remember how to do this right. Go ahead and craft the coke oven bricks right now. We need 26 of them. And here we go. Oh my god, isn't it beautiful? So this right here is where we stick in the logs in order for us to get the charcoal. As you can see right here, it takes a little while and it's really slow, but I mean, it's something that you just do over time as you do other things. And while we wait for the full charcoal that we need to be crafted, we're gonna go ahead and go plant down a very special tree. This tree won't come into this episode, but next episode, I promise you, we'll get to see what this tree does and it's actually pretty cool. Fuck, it was like a monster mash last night. I just kept- Look at all my deaths. Oh my god. They just wouldn't let me sleep. It was horrible. Holy shit, nighttime in this game so bad. Oh, that's a really cool looking creeper. What do you do, I wonder?
god, I really hate this game sometimes. I guess I better start making some more chests. That way I can pick all this shit back up before it despawns. Sometimes I think this game just makes you want to end it all. I swear to god. But don't worry, we got the full charcoal that we needed. And there we go. We completed the quest. I don't really care about anything else, but the bucket is freaking awesome. I really, really could use that. What will happen next? Where will Greg Tech take us in the next episode? Who knows? I sure the hell don't. But I hope to see you there. Be safe. Love all of you, and have a fantastic day. Mwah!